Welcome to DX3, Canada's largest conference for all things digital. I'm here with Aaron from Airbnb. Thanks for joining yeah, me today. My pleasure. Thanks for having us. I am a huge fan of Airbnb. I'm excited that the service is available to all Canadians. Can you talk about what it is for people who maybe don't know? Yeah, so Airbnb is the world's largest platform for individuals who are looking for unique travel experiences, really local and authentic travel experiences, and it connects them with people that have a little extra space in their homes. Now, there are people out there who may be a little bit nervous about using something like Airbnb, but what can you say to them to make them feel more comfortable? Yes, yeah, so we've had over 30 million guests around the world stay on Airbnb. On our biggest night, we had 550,000 people stay with each other in 190 countries. And so it's really become mainstream, and safety is at the core of the product, and people have real identity, real profiles, and have some excellent reviews that you can read about those people who are staying there. You may not be able to answer this, but I feel as though I read a headline recently that talked about Airbnb in comparison to the number of hotel rooms that are rented around the world. I'm guessing the market is, you know, booming? Yeah, we've had, we actually now have over a million um, listings around the world in 34,000 cities, and it's growing quite rapidly. What about in Canada, in terms of adoption? Have Canadians accepted Airbnb as a, a way that they can stay in cool uh, places all across the country? Yeah, so Canadians are actually at the top 10 market for us around the world, and a lot of that has been just organic growth. And so I think just by virtue of us being Canadians, it's really in our DNA, that type of hospitality and sharing what we're so proud of here in Canada. What about events in Canada and big surges in terms of people coming to this country to different cities? What is your strategy for ensuring that they hear about Airbnb as an option? Yeah, that's actually how Airbnb started. There was a design conference happening in San Francisco and the founders, there was no hotel room, so the founders threw an airbed on their floor and served them breakfast and called it Airbed and Breakfast. So it's really in the DNA, big events on Airbnb. Last year during the World Cup in Rio, over 20% of international visitors stayed on an Airbnb. Where do you see Airbnb in the next five years? I think we're really redefining the way that people travel. People are always looking to get off the path and have a really truly authentic local experience. And I think unlike anybody else in the world, we provide that through our host community. And also people like traveling in our different ways, like people with families and kids. You know, the ability to have an entire space or a, a washing machine or a dryer and put your kids in a room and you stay in another room, it's a really big advantage to staying on Airbnb.